All right, all right, uh, Shalom Akim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak Wadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and the elders <clears throat> at Great Millstone with Ruel. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Kodash, you know, uh, Adawan Ratazah, you know, that means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know, in my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power, of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash, it's going to be basically on how our rest is coming, you know. <clears throat> uh, the kingdom of heaven is coming, all right. Um, the Lord, He's going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. We pray we are part of that number, all right. When our Lord Yahweh shall return, who you know, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ, man, all right. We're suffering right now, you know, you know, because of our disobedience, because the curses is, uh, is all upon us. You know, but soon the Lord is he going to have mercy on on Jacob, man. All right. The Lord is he having mercy on us now by giving us his word, you know, revealing his name, the Heavenly Father, and his name unto us. And his only begotten son named Yahweh Shah unto us, giving us this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, giving us this brotherhood, you know, and giving us faith, you know. You know, so, you know, he he's showing mercy upon us with that, you know, but the Lord, he ultimately going to, you know, bless us, you know, and he going to deliver us and we're going to we're going to take down our enemies man according to the scriptures so this is book of isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1 isaiah 14 and verse 1 it says for the lord will have mercy on jacob and we yet choose israel you know this is talking about the 12 tribes man you so-called negroes latinos and native americans are right? also the israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to the fathers you know the lord said he's gonna have mercy on us man and we'll set them in their own land all right because uh, the land was promised to our forefathers abraham isaac and jacob and it passed on down all right to us man all right let's get this the lord said he's gonna give us a land flowing with milk and honey all right Now, I'm just rolling through the spirit, Lord, when it's edifying to the elect. So this book of Genesis is Genesis chapter tw uh, 12. Genesis chapter 12 and verse 4. It says, so Abram, Abram, all right, this is, and his name was changed to Abraham, all right, the, the, one, of our, one of the founding fathers of our nation, man. All right, that the promises was was left unto, all right, which our lineage go back, all right. What you had, you had a uh, Adam, Seth, all right, Abel, all right, and it went on down to us, man. I said so. Abram departed as the Lord had spake unto him, unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was uh, seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. So Abram took Sarah. His wife and Lot, his brother's son, which uh, Lot was his uh, nephew, says in all their substance that they had gathered and they saw in the souls that were that they had gotten in Haran. And they went forth to go into the land of Canaan, into the land of the Cain. So in into the land of Canaan, they came. Verse six. And Aaron passed through the land unto the place of Shittim, uh, Shishim, Sishim. I'm saying the race like yeah, unto the plain of Moray, Moray, and the Canaanite sorry, and the Canaanite was then in the land. All right, verse seven, which we eventually, you know, through the spirit probably how about my child when Joshua was on the same, we eventually got them out of there, man. Verse seven, it says, um, it says, and the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto thy seed, will I give this land? And there builded he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. All right, so this Lord said he's going to give, all right, Abram his seed, this land. It's all about the chosen seed, that holy seed, all right, which is 
Israel, man. Yasharallah, he's a prince of the power. All right, Genesis chapter uh, 13, verse uh, 15, just get to the point. For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it into thy seed forever, man. All right, all right. Genesis fifteen verse eight. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, "Unto thee, unto thy seed, have I given this land." All right, that was one of the promises that the Lord gave to us. And the people that's in the land right now are imposters, man. All right, they don't fit none of the prophecies. All right, the Lord said he's going to take us back in that land and the earth is never going to learn war anymore. It says from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the Euphrates, man. So that's the land that the Lord was going to give us. All the land promised to Abram. So the Lord said he's going to... Get us back in that land, man. Why do you have a watch in my job? All right, this is the promise, you know, the promises that the Lord made with our forefathers, man. You know, and ultimately, we're going to have the whole earth. All right. Bear with me. You know, so the Lord. This is the, the inheritance. You know, I'm just rolling through the spirit. Lord was edifying, you know. This was the land the Lord promised them. The promise our forefather, man. The vast amount of land. All right, the vast amount of land the Lord promised our forefathers. All right, so let's go back. So the Lord said, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, Isaiah 14 and 1. Says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, which Jacob was named changed to Israel. And yet, choose Israel, all right? Jacob, Jacob is a Yaquab in the Hebrew. And Israel, his name was changed to Israel because he wrestled the an angel. And it's Yashar Allah. Yah meaning he, Shar, Prince Allah power. He's a prince of the power. It says, and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them and shall feed to the house of Jacob. So those those strangers, is talking about the Israelite foreigners. I should say uh, the strangers that are scattered. Which is, you know, I think that word is a stranger's uh, gar. All right. To the, to the strangers that are scattered. All right. Peter. It says, First Peter chapter 1, verse 1 it says, Peter, an apostle of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, Barthenia, elect, and the elect is what? Israel, from Israel, man. According to the foreknowledge of Yah of the Most High, Yahweh, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh, Shah, Mashiach, grace unto you and peace be multiplied, man. So those strangers are the Israelites, man. All right. Let's see what second Peter one. Just check. All right. Okay. So let's go back. So you know those strangers. All right. All right. It's like foreigners coming back. All right. Coming back to Israel. Coming back. You know to their with the heritage, man. Because you got brothers that's teaching right now. All right, and then you got Israelites, you know, that's just coming up to the, just coming into this word. They're cleaving to the house of Jacob, man. Verse two, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord's for servants and handmaids. So we're going to possess these other nations for servants and handmaids. All right. Because why? Why? This is, uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So they led us into captivity, so they got to go into captivity. All right. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient in the face of the, of the saints. So these Edomites, these so-called white people in all these nations, you know, uh, had a part of our captivity, had a part of our downfall, mainly Esau Edom. 
and they kill us with the sword. Now they're going to be killed with the sword, man. Look at this, man. Transatlantic slave trade, man. We went all over the earth, man. From the west coast of Africa, over to all the South America, and then from the Ma all the way to Madagascar, all the way to Europe, all the way um, over here in the Babylonian Great, Cuba, you know, Jamaica, you know, the Caribbeans and the islands. All right. They let us captive. So what? They got to go into captivity. These hand mice, you had the sub Saharan slave trade. All right. All right, they killed us with a sword. They still killed us with a sword. They beat us, whipped us. All right, let's pay back for that, man. All right, and it's not make-believe. This thing actually happened, bro, which was one of the curses that the Lord said he was going to put on us All right, because of our disobedience, man. So you see, clearly, we're going into captivity. They're, they're arresting us, you know, tying us up, beating us, whipping us. All right. All right, got us in shackles, yokes of iron on our neck, which was a part of the prophecy. All right. Let's lock the thing up. Got it. Exit. You see this? All right. Okay. So what does scripture say about it, though? It says, um, Isaiah chapter 14, and verse 2, it says, And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord's for servants and handmaids. So we going to possess them for servants and handmaids, man. All right. Should we say, um, how it goes in Leviticus? Gregor. Um. Hebrews. Bear with me. Hebrews chapter four. Oh, bond men and bond women. This was bond and bond men. Bear with me. They say it's going to be of the heathens. All right. And not of our people. Yeah, here you go. So like it. So like it, brothers. The water for bear with me. It's on Leviticus 25 and 44. It says, Both thy bondmen and thy bond maids. Which thou shalt have <laughs> shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. So the bondmen, all right, is of the heathens. I, I believe the next verse is going to go into. It says, Moreover, of the children of the strangers that sojourn among you, all ye sought, of them shall ye buy, and of the families that are with you, which ye begot in your land, ye shall. Um, they shall be your possession. It says, and ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen forever, but over the over your brother and the children of Israel, ye shall not rule one over another with rigor. All right. All right. So we're going to possess them in the house of Israel, Isaiah 14 and 2. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place in the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord's for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, man. So, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah. You know, I just break down these three verses, uh, those three verses, uh, Isaiah 14, 1 through 3. You know, I just, I just make this lesson quick, you know, just bring that out for you. No one is out of fire. Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse um, 16. It says, Therefore, all that devour thee shall be devoured, 
and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. All right, so they that devour us, I right, shall be devouring all thy adversaries. All right, every one of them shall go into captivity. Because the Lord told Abraham, our forefather Abraham, that our seed was going to be um, in Egypt for, I believe, 300 years, which is talking about ancient Egypt. All right, and we're going to be afflicted. And the Lord said he's going to judge that nation, talking about the Egyptians, because he judged them as a whole. Just how the Lord's going to judge Esau as a whole and all these other nations as a whole. Because we, we, when we went in slavery, we went in slavery as a whole. Even our king, all right, King David, all right, if you can receive his key, Masha, all right, we all in the, the princes, all right, all right, the daughters of Zion, we all went in the captivity. So all these heathen, they're going to captivity under our, under our Lord, Yahweh Shai, verse 16. Jeremiah 30 and 16 says, Therefore all that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them shall go, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So the Lord said, all of them going to go into captivity, man. All right? All right, so like here. All right, and I got another precept for that. Amos. Amos 9, like 13. Book of Amos chapter 9, verse 13. It says, Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Who's the plowman right now? We are the plowman. We plowing these fields, you know, we building up everything. All right, and who is reaping the benefits of it? Esau Edom. And the treader of grapes, him that soweth seed. In the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. Verse 14. And I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them. Which these other nations, they're going to build up Jerusalem, as it said in the book of Tobit. All right. Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphire, emeralds, all right. The, the streets with, with gold, all right. These other nations, they're going to do that, man. We're going to be at rest. The Lord said he's going to give us rest. The, the next verse, we're going to get it when we go to back to Isaiah. And inhabit them, they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them upon their land and they shall no more be plucked out of their land which i have given them said the lord thy power like what are y'all watching my shot so the lord say hey we're gonna get them captives we captain their road we're gonna rule over our presence so the plowman shall overtake the reaper and they the roads are gonna be reversal all right they're gonna be in captivity we're gonna be up isaiah 14 and 3 and it shall come to pass in that day that the lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from thy and from the hard abundance wherein thou was made to save serve. So the Lord said He gonna give us rest. All right, the Lord gonna put the law that you command with our inward part. We never gonna uh, sin again, so we never gonna die. All right, we never we're gonna have a hard work, a hard days of work. All right, we ain't gonna have to you know work on the sweat of our bra, you know, to get our daily bread. I right, no worries, you know, no fucking alarm clocks, you know. We just gonna live, man. How to how you how about Shemasha attended us to? All right, let's see what's in Ezekiel 36. All right, let's see this Let's go to uh, 16. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, <laughs> they defiled it by their own way and by their doings. Their way was before me as a un as the uncleanness of a woman, of a removed woman. So we was unclean like a woman or a menstrual man. All right. We defiled, all right. We defiled the land by worshiping idols and, and you know, going off. Verse 18, wherefore I poured my fury upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for their idols wherein they had polluted it. And I scattered them among the heathens, which were scattered amongst the east. That's why the Lord said he's going to gather us I threw out the four corners of the earth from one end of the earth to another. The right, Lord said he's going to gather his light from one end of the earth to another. Matthew 24, man. And we period part of that number. 
I scattered them from I scattered them among the heathen, and they were dispersed throughout the countries according to their way and according to their doing. <laughs> I judged them. <laughs> and that's the Yaqub priest that right there. It says, and when they entered into the heathen, whether they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, These are the people of the Lord and are gone forth out of his land. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whether they went. Verse 22. Therefore, what it says, Israel to be renewed for his name. I hope it ain't cut off. So I hope it ain't cut off. Hope it's still going. It says, um, for his name, it says, therefore, Ezekiel 32, 36 and uh, 22. Therefore, I say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord power. I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but my but for my holy namesakes, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether ye went. And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, saith the Lord, Yahweh, uh, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes. For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all the countries and will bring you again into your own land. So my Israel. And will sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean. And from sorry, from all your filthiness and from all that your idols will I cleanse you. So the Lord said, He gonna cleanse us from our iniquities. And a new heart will, a new heart also will I give you. You know the Lord say the, a part of the new covenant, the second covenant. The Lord gonna put His laws, and commandments in our inward part. And a new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart of you, of your flesh, and will give you a heart of flesh. All right, so the Lord, all right, he's going to change us. We're going to be changed in the twinkle of an eye. Verse 27, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. I will also save you from all your uncleanness, and I will call for corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you. So we're going to be multiplied. All right, no famine is going to be in our land. Our fruit is going to just multiply. And I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field, and ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then, stop verse 31. Then shall ye remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good, and shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. Not for your sakes I do this, said the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah. Be it known unto you, be ashamed and confounded for your own ways, O house of Israel. Verse 33, thus saith the Lord, in the, in the day that I shall have cleansed you from all your iniquities, I will also cause you to dwell in the cities, and the waste shall be built in. Because that land of Israel is going to be destroyed, but it's going to be built up all right, all right, by these heathens. And the desolate land shall be tilled, wherein it is laid desolate in the sight of all that pass by. Verse 35, they shall say, this land that it was desolate is become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste and the desolate ruins and ruined cities are become fenced and are inhabited. Then the heathen that are left round about you shall know that I, the Lord, build the ruined places and plant that that was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. All right. One more verse. Thus said the Lord Power, I will yet for this be inquired of the of. Uh, by the house of Israel to do it for them, I will increase them with men like a flock. As the holy flock and as the flock of Jerusalem heard solemn feast, so shall the way cities be filled with flocks of men, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Man. All right, so the scripture say uh, a little one shall become a thousand. All right, so that was pretty much it. You know, that was pretty much it. You know, I don't want to write this out. This lesson was edifying. Meaning, the Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Y'all you know, want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, Drew Well. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep it going. Shalom.